So, as you probably already heard, there was a new tax code placed into law at the end of 2017. But what's new about the new tax code? And what impact will it have on the real estate market? To understand how the new tax code will affect you personally, make sure you check with your accountant or tax advisor. Now to help break it down, there were three major proposed changes to the new tax code. The first one was about changing the requirements for the exclusion of gain on the sale of a principal residence. The original proposal was that owners would need to live in their house for at least five of the last eight years to claim this exemption. But the new tax code stuck to what it originally was, that owners only needed to live in their house for at least two of the last five years to claim the exemption. So what impact will that have on the market? None, nothing changed. The second proposed change was the reduction on the limit of the mortgage interest deduction, or MID. The original proposal was to reduce the limit on the MID from $1 million to $500,000, but it was actually reduced to $750,000 instead. So that reduces the limit on deductible debt to $750,000 for new loans taken out after December 14, 2017. Current loans up to a $1 million are grandfathered in. What impact will that have on the market? Well, assuming a 20% down payment, this will only impact buyers that are purchasing homes between the prices of $938,000 and $1.25 million. But experts seem to disagree just how much of an impact it will be. Calculated Risk's Bill McBride said that it will have very little impact on the housing market, while Capital Economics claims that the impact could be detrimental. So, which one is it? Well, we have to understand that about 30% of all Americans itemize, while 70% don't. So the people who don't itemize are going to get a big tax break. But for the people who do itemize, this will impact those who are taking on new mortgage debt, because now they'll be subject to that $750,000 limit. The third proposed change was the elimination of the state and local tax deduction or SALT, which includes property taxes. The original proposal was to completely get rid of state and local tax deduction, including property taxes, and that would have been tremendously detrimental to real estate. But instead, the new tax code allows an itemized deduction of up to $10,000 for the total state and local taxes, which includes property taxes. So while it wasn't eliminated completely, it was still limited to $10,000. What impact will that have on the market? Well, Calculated Risk's Bill McBride feels that some people in higher tax states might start thinking about moving to another state that doesn't have the same property tax situation. So what does all of this mean to you? Again, make sure you sit down with your accountant or financial planner to fully understand all of the aspects of the new tax code and how it will impact you and your family. And now that you have a better understanding of how these changes might impact housing, if you have any questions about buying or selling your home, make sure you consult with a local real estate expert to get the answers you need and deserve.